Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the theater. I really want to launch into like, welcome back, back again, <laughs> but that would have been terrible for everybody involved. Anyway, I am here at the theater. The show last night apparently went great. I'm just literally going from what my mom and her boyfriend said <laughs> because they watched it. It was like an hour and a half show initially. If it was going to be live because of previous COVID regulations, it could have only been an hour. Also, we were having another show later in the evening, so time was of the essence. But, I mean, he was able to just play as much as he wanted, pretty much, which is exciting. It was actually funny because I wanted to make sure that the stream was working, so I watched the beginning, and he, like, came out, and he was like, oh, yeah, like, just, like, there isn't a crowd, but I'm going to pretend a crowd is here also I'm drinking. <laughs> anyway, I'm a little bit tired this morning. I had some weird dreams last night, including this. There was a puppy in one. <laughs> and also this dream where this lady at like 7-Eleven or whatever was rude to me. And then when I went to pay, she was like, no, you can't buy stuff here. I was like, okay. And then I went to leave and she's like, no, don't leave. And I'm like, pick. And I think she maybe just wanted like me to beg to shop there. And I'm like, I'm good. Like if you want to apologize, then okay, I'll complete my sale. But other than that, I'm good. And then the debit machine didn't work anyways. And I had cash, but I was like, no. And I left and I went somewhere else and they didn't have the chocolate milk I wanted, which <laughs> very important things in my dream, obviously. Anyway, I could probably ramble forever is what the vibe I'm getting is, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go have my breakfast drink and then get to work. It should just be a short shift today. And then I do have to work again tomorrow. <sighs> It's like one extreme or the other in the theater. You're either doing nothing or you're just flat out. And then I also need to do invoicing tonight and my mom wants to go to the fabric store to look at fabric to have me make her a tablecloth. But I'm like, mom, it'd be so much cheaper if you could just find a tablecloth because like the fabric she was looking at because we looked at it yesterday was like, for, I can't remember, like 20 bucks a meter. And then you, we need like two meters at least. And then she wanted to do a double layer thing. So yeah, I'm like, mom, it's so much cheaper if you get it elsewhere, but we'll see. I also brought the stuff that I made for the people in Blind Channel because maybe somebody's gonna come pick it up here. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna go, I'll check in with you as I can. I always find it weird to be sewing on days when I'm the only person here, but yet here I am going up the stairs and going into the sewing room. It's obviously different. <laughs> When, I don't know, like it's different if I'm doing my actual, actual job and there's nobody here because that typically happens. There's usually at least an hour, hour and a half where I'm by myself, if not my full shift. And especially with COVID times, cause like nobody's here. Um, but it's just, it seems so weird to just be coming up here to sew on my own because like this is what I do at home. But we are making progress. <laughs> this is my very advanced system. So I do everything in stages. So like I'll sew the tops and the bottoms and then I'll sew the sides, etc. So these ones have the sides and the, the tops and the sides sewn. These ones only have the top sewn. And as I finish these, I throw them over there. So complicated. We're also getting down quite low. Like this is the pile now. I think there's 30 something here. And now keep in mind, when I first came back and started doing these, they were probably at least that high. I counted in the house yesterday. I think we only need like 13 more seat covers to cover all the seats. So you might be wondering why we're doing more than 13. It's just in case like one gets ripped or one gets like super badly stained and we need to, you know, throw it out or whatever, um, we'll have the extra one. So then at that point, we don't need to be like, oh, we need to get a sewing machine and we need to do this and we need to do that. We'll just have a batch of extras, which will make life easy for everyone. It's currently just before 11. I usually, usually, I almost always get about an hour in, sometimes an hour and a half of sewing, depending on various things, how much I have to do, how lazy I'm feeling on any given day, because honestly, there are some days, and even before COVID, it, there'd be some days where I would be at work and I'd be like, why is this task taking me so long? For example, if something typically takes me 20 minutes and it's taking me 40 minutes, I'm like, what is wrong with me? But my boss is really great because he's like, you know what? It takes the amount of time it takes. And if you need to take longer, you need to take longer. But yeah, so about an hour today, I'm going to do what I always do, which is pop on my headphones <laughs> and put something on my 
phone to watch. Wow, I was gonna say my TV, to, oh my God. You know, missed opportunity. If I had been bringing my laptop in this entire time, I could have put it on that TV and it swivels out. <sighs> Wasn't thinking ahead. I don't, and I don't think it's a smart TV. Anyways, I'm gonna get into sewing now and I will check in with you as I can. It has been a lazy afternoon. It is 20 to four and honestly, I don't, I don't have much to show for the day. <laughs> I have nothing, I worked, that's about it. So just before I was off, I was leaving the box office because that's where I do my timesheet. And I was walking past the front uh, doors. So there's like four glass doors and there's somebody standing there. And I'm like, are you kidding me? We're not open because like this happens all the time. Even before we weren't open at all, it happened all the time. But then I look closer and it's one of my bosses from my channel. <laughs> and she like emailed me at 11.50 to tell me that she she was going to be there before noon, but I didn't get that email, but I saw her, let her in, and gave her the things that I made for her. We chatted for a bit, and then my mom and I went and did some running around. I am like so over running errands, because we had to run some yesterday too, and I'm like, we should not be leaving the house. So anyways, we got things. I picked up. I needed some tape. <laughs> Two different types. I got double-sided tape for when I'm putting my scrunchies together, like the um, the tags for them because I've been gluing them, but it's repositionable glue that I have and it just, it's not a fan. And then I just figured I should have tape because my selection of tape is getting low. And I picked up some printer ink and some paper because this weekend, yeah, this weekend's almost over, some point in the near future, <laughs> I'm going to print my pajama pattern that I purchased online. Yes, I did just buy a couple patterns yesterday, I know, but I don't have enough fabric for the pajamas in that set because I specifically bought enough fabric for the other pattern. So we're going to be doing it. By the Besides, like, I want pajama shorts. <laughs> that is what I want my Santa T-Rexes to be. So... It might still happen before Christmas, fingers crossed. I don't know, but for now, I think the next step is to finish these. I literally have two sets of these and one set of these. And then once I finish those, I just have to trim all the threads because there's just threads come there, there they are. There's just threads coming off there. And um, then those can be inventoried. I can take pictures of them eventually and um, <laughs> tell how excited I am about that and then I can move on to other things. I've got one embroidery project that I have in the works right now. There's a couple other things that would be ideal to make for Christmas gifts if I get the chance but they aren't important <laughs> because it's just if I have time and then I do need to start thinking about Christmas gifts. I've got one pretty much done. Um, Again, I would like to make some more stuff if I have time, uh, but I would really like to make those pajamas, so we'll see. Also recently I've been like, you know, I do have like over 10 masks, but maybe I should make some more. Cause like I got some really cute Christmas fabric and nobody seems to want masks, so just make myself a bunch of masks. <laughs> anyway, that <laughs> is not important right now. Right now, I think, like I said, if I can get these done, cause I do want to do invoicing tonight, um, and then oh, I work tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday and I work, but I don't think I have anything to do in the afternoon. So that's exciting. Anyways, I'm going to refill my water because I'm trying to be good and drink more water and, um, drag my sewing machine up onto my desk, find the thread I need and just get the show on the road. I'm currently at work three days in a row and is totally over it. 
and I have one more day to go tomorrow. It's just, I just have no endurance for it because it's been so long. Like in the summer, blind channel every day for like a solid two months. Come back and I'm like, ooh, you want me to work how many four hour shifts in a row? <laughs> Anyways. It is currently eight o'clock. It's been a while. Things have happened. I have finished sewing all of these and I have trimmed all the threads on them. So that is exciting. I had dinner as well and I just spent a ridiculously long amount of time printing stuff. This, these are the tags for my scrunchies and then also there's the pajama pattern that I keep talking about. So I will have to obviously um, tape that all together and then cut it all out so we can, you know, have pajamas. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing in the last couple hours. It took forever. This, I, like, I just dragged my feet on these as I was doing. I only had three left to do, so like 21 pads, and it took me over an hour. <laughs> it shouldn't take me that long. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, current plan. I should probably put these away somewhere so they stay nice and safe. Put the scrunchie labels away too. Um, and I think I'm gonna do invoicing just so it's done and out of the way. I have a miniature headache and I think it's because I'm trying to severely limit my caffeine intake. Um, and it sucks basically is where we're at, but it's, it's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna drink more water because that's what you do, right? Water solves everything. Anyway, I'm gonna spend some time tidying and do some invoicing and then either I will start working on piecing together this pattern or alternatively, I have a pot holder pattern here, which I'm very excited about. So maybe we'll do that, but I just, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll just go to sleep. I don't know, man, I don't know. Alrighty, so it is currently just about 11 and honestly, I am very tired and very cold too. And I, well, my hands are really cold <laughs> and I have a little headache, but I think I've just been using my hands. My room has been cold. Can I say cold anymore? <laughs> and um, it's that caffeine withdrawal headache, I think. Yay. But that's all right. I had a very productive day. Invoicing is done, so I don't have to do that tomorrow. I work tomorrow, and then I have Monday off, which is fantastic. And then I have no idea what my shifts are for the rest of the week because my boss mentioned something about there's going to be more recording because the thing is, is nobody can go to live shows. So yeah, we'll see. Anyways, with that, I'm going to say thanks so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.